Hello and welcome to Sands of Salzar. Now this is a game in early access on Steam at the moment and it is a strategy action RPG where you actually get to create your character and then you can train your troops. Oh yes, and there's also a multiplayer mode you can play in co-op as far as I'm aware. This game did not have an English language version until very recently. It is currently 40% off on Steam until sometime in October, I believe. October 6th, I think. So if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. I am not being sponsored for this video. It just seems like a very cool game indeed, and I'd like to show it to you. So let's click the left mouse button to continue. You can read this if you so desire. This is just a small message from the developers. And as you can see, the graphic style, the aesthetic of it is pretty unique, actually. I haven't seen a game like this you know, in a while. Um, you can take a look at the settings here as well. I'm currently playing with these, as you can see, a uh, bunch of sound effects, game settings, and so on and so forth. You can even change your battle size. Oh, yes, yeah, so the only other game that I know that has a battle size slider is Mountain Blade, so you obviously will know the kind of game you're going to be getting if you buy this and indeed end up playing it. So yeah, anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and click on New Game. This is actually the first time I'm going to be uh, playing it because I wanted to show you a complete fresh perspective from my side here. Anyway, there's a multiplayer arena. As you can see, this is a very experimental multiplayer map feature you can play with other people. But we're going to just play in the open world, customize your character, and explore the expansive world of the Sands of Salzar. They have returned. There was a war 20 years ago. That war took my father, my mother, my homeland, everything. The black sun rose in the sky, heralding destruction. You've protected mankind for a thousand years. Who am I to judge? But it all started with you. Now, I will be the one to finish it. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Okay, so... Um, if you couldn't tell, I really, really like this game, mainly because of the way that everything is delivered. And you can already tell the sort of, um, I, I, I don't know, I feel like the initial cutscene already kind of gives you an idea as to what the developers are all about. They don't want to consistently show you a huge amount of lengthy cutscenes. They want you to get into the game and actually start playing. And as you can no doubt tell by the by the uh, animation quality in the uh, in the bottom right here, uh, you're going to see a lot of very cool effects and um, all kinds of things. I, I mean, I've, I've looked at the Steam Store page, obviously, and, uh, well, I'm very impressed already. Okay, so we have a number of classes here, as you can no doubt tell. What's Expert Mode? What's that do? Only one save at a time is allowed during an Expert Mode playthrough. You may not exit without saving, may not be disabled once enabled. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's Iron Man, basically. Uh, I guess we'll just leave it for the moment because I have no idea what I'm doing so far, so I might make an, a completely uh, terrible character, who knows. But um, yeah, so this is recommended for new players. It's a Spirit Mancer. Um, it's basically... Uh, concentrating pure negativity in, into energy balls that deal explosive damage or summon up a shade to fight by your side. They can also blink across short distances. Okay, so there's a thing that you should know about this game. When you take companions along with you, and I would assume followers uh, counts, counts as kind of like companions, 
they all share your experience. So it is recommended to travel by yourself for a little bit of time just to build up your skills. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to end up with a character that is less well-developed than you would have otherwise wanted at certain points in the game. All right, so let me actually just have a look here. You begin with two bounty hunters as followers. You found some wild wolves willing to take you. And uh, all of these are normal difficulty. Oh, wow, the knight errant. Yeah, this is a very, very hard start. If you are looking for a punishing, challenging beginning, play as this class because as you can see your relationship with all tribes is poor and a tribe may arrest you or declare war at will an experienced warrior you begin your adventure with three bonus wisdom crystals each giving you one bonus skill point so it does kind of balance out a little bit but it is going to be quite harsh otherwise you have blade dancer hashishin and oh this actually might even be uh, pretty good berserker seems pretty fun uh sentinel yeah look at that several crossbowmen seems pretty fun there's also a sultan here as well you begin with no trade permits for any town and enemy troops may invade you at any time that sounds fun and otherwise you have uh, bounty hunter again down here i'm actually not sure what the difference is between oh wait a minute Oh, I, I actually didn't see I actually didn't see Bounty Hunter before, but I assume that there's another person that starts with Bounty Hunters. Ah, the Jackal. The Jackal is kind of like a kind of like a Bounty Hunter, but you can see that one is hard and one is normal difficulty. All right. Well, I'm actually not sure, to be honest. I feel like maybe a Shaman? Let's have a look. Mm, you found some wild wolves. The beast cannot be tamed. You are unable to learn any arcana. That's kind of sad. Yeah, uh, nah, you know what? You know what? Let's just play as a Spirit Mancer for the moment. I don't really want to play it mainly because it is easy, but obviously it is recommended for new players for a reason. And you're going to be able to learn and complete any branch of talents. And I think for the purposes of showing you the game, I'd like to be able to explore many of the features the game has to offer. So we're just going to be doing this. As you can see, we have a huge number of starting resources here as, as well. Let's have a look. Two starting resources redeemed using legacy points earned by completing playthroughs. Aha. Okay, so yeah, obviously there's a bit of a roguelike element to the game as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any... Do I have do I have some legacy actually? Oh, I might have some I I might have some legacy to uh, potentially use here. Ooh, enchanted blade seems fun. Let's do that. Oh, this is also fun. Bloodsucker is great. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Uh, is there anything for twenty points? Archery barrage. I could do that. Fire three arrows, three thousand cubits consecutively in the same direction. I could do that. Is there anything else for twenty points? I don't see anything for 20. I mean, they, they obviously are doing that on purpose because they want to try to prevent you from uh, making too powerful of a character too soon. Anyway, I think we're pretty happy with this, to be honest. So I'm actually just going to go for that. Uh, yes, that's fine. Five, five legacy still remaining is okay. And now we can create our character as well. So you can actually, as you can see here, change your hairstyle however you want it to be, which is crazy, the amount of selections here. Just look at this. It is insane. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to go for something pretty long here. And, oh, we could go for, oh, wow. Yeah, there's actually, wow, there's actually a lot. Look at this. What? Why is there so much customization in this game and not in anything else? I mean, come on now. This is crazy. Okay, so let me, uh, yeah, we want to go for something. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, some of them are amusing. Yes. Okay. So what about this one? This one seems pretty fun. And we can change the back again, as you can no doubt tell. I actually don't know whether this makes any difference to the in-game character, but I, I suppose we'll see. And then we have a huge amount of different faces as well. Look at this. This is crazy. Okay. We also have different eyebrows too. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can make him angry. Oh, yes. Okay. I will do that. And let's do the eyes. Ah, okay. Let's go for some eyes that are... Um, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. He's he, oh, he's, he's angry. Oh, 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 he's super angry. Okay, yeah, there we go. He's going to he's gonna go Super Saiyan real quick. Okay, yeah. Anyway, let's see what else we can do here. The nose. The nose does not matter. Oh, look at that. He's shocked. 
Oh, he's very shocked indeed. Okay, is there anything else here that I can go? Oh, yes, look at that. He's going, oh, look at that, a slight grin. A slight grin seems to work quite nicely. Oh, yes, look at that. He's going to be an evildoer, kind of. <laughs> okay, look at that. We can actually change the way that we look in the game as well by the looks of things. Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'd like to wear a robe, personally, because... Oh, that looks pretty cool. I am actually not sure. <laughs> There's a number of... Ah, I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, what about body? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So we can actually have a wide variety of different options here as well. And... Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, wow. There are so, there's so many options. What? This is crazy. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. And then we can actually put a mask on ourselves as well. But look at that. Oh, look at that. That is Koro Sensei, of course. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. Um, let me have a, ooh, what, what about an eye patch? Oh, yes, we should do an eye patch or maybe a, an Oni mask or something. Or, oh, yeah, an eye patch with a scar. Yes, yes, I think we shall. There we go. Okay, let's create. Enter a name. Uh, well, I'm pretty awful at names. Uh, kind of wish I was um, live streaming this now because then I could ask you for names. That would be... Much easier for me right now. Okay, my bad. Uh, maybe we'll we'll do that um, at a later point. It depends. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, um, uh, I really have no idea. Uh, I'm thinking Bruce. I'm thinking Bruce. Okay, we're going to go for that. He, 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 does he look like a Bruce to you? No, he doesn't. I know, I know. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so as you can see, we also have a number of other options here. Selecting this option prevents you from recruiting dragons, angels, phoenixes, and other powerful magical creatures. You may still, however, recruit troops using a trade permit at outposts in each town and upgrade troops for 30% less experience resources. Troop death rate, however, is also increased by 30%. Okay, I guess I'll turn it on. Sure, why not? And then we also have easy, normal, hard. Going to play on normal for the moment. And then we have a roll limit. Selecting this option places a cooldown timer on rolling. Well, I think if you could roll infinitely, that might be a bit imbalanced. So I'm perfectly happy to leave it on. However, I think that in general, if you are wanting to have a very fun experience and feel like a very powerful fellow indeed, then yeah, you can definitely turn that off. Hunger debuff. Selecting this option slows down or speeds up party movement speed based on hunger. I think that might be a bit annoying, but I'm going to leave it on nevertheless. All right. So, here we are. You are a spirit man, sir. There are many wizards in the land, but you are, you, you are unique even among them. Erasing memories, controlling minds, creating illusions. These are your unique tricks as a spirit man, sir. But you must act discreetly, for the name Bruce remains a prominent one on the wanted posters in the underworld. Ah, I should have given him a cooler name, shouldn't I? Ah, well, Bruce is a pretty cool name anyway, but still. Should have given him something like, um, I don't know, uh, assassination assassination Bruce or something like that that would have been a little cooler I guess maybe but oh well getting dizzy again I'm fine Zainab shaking head I'm fine memories of a woman float into your mind your deceased wife are we still going to Amaranth town Zainab is worried about your health her words remind you that you came back from hell with one goal to find the one who took everything from you Having come back from death, your powers are much diminished. Your desire for revenge, however, remains strong. All right, so we receive uh, 20 ironstone and 20 wood. You're in a merchant's camp. There's a reason why I want, also wanted to play as the Spirit Mancer because it will uh, allow me to um, do the initial quest as well. And bear in mind that I haven't played this game ever before. This is the first time I'm getting into the game itself as well. So this is as much new to me as it is to you. So, as you can see right now, we currently have the ability to have three characters total, and you can, as you see here, unlock a fourth one by the looks of things as well. And we can also have battle tactics here too, so we can just basically uh, tell them to do whatever they want automatically. We don't have any skills at the moment, do we? No, apparently we don't have any skills right now for some reason. I thought I actually specced into a couple, but apparently 
Um, maybe I need to go over here. What do I need to? Oh, I need to. I need to learn this. Aha! Okay, I need to learn this. Okay, so I'd like to get Bloodsucker because um, personally, I love any kind of effect that gives me the ability to get back health. So I am very happy with this. And what about Barrage as well? Can I? Can I learn that too? No, no. I only have enough for one. Okay, good to know. Uh, we should probably get a mana upgrade as well. Permanent increase own. Uh, own max mana, that's really going to be very helpful. As you can see, there's a number of other abilities. I think the shade is going to be extremely important for me later down the line, so I will definitely have to do something with that. Does she need to do anything with her skills? Yes, apparently she does. Okay, this is going to be kind of interesting because I have no idea what's actually good for her or not. Um, I guess sidestep slice because this is the thing that she can possibly get. So we'll just um, have her learn that. Uh, I don't think I can control her, by the way, uh, not unless it's on manual. Is there any way that I can actually do that? No, I... I can, can I? You'll need to determine each squad's tactics for siege battles. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine at the moment actually just leaving them to do whatever they want to do, to be honest. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's move around a little bit. Let's go and speak. Make sure you equip your weapon from your bag. Oh, thank you very much, Traveller. You're new here, right? Maybe I can answer some questions. Uh, okay, uh... Which way to Redstone Keep? Redstone Keep is not far from here. There's a caravan around here that's about to depart. Just talk to the leader and he should let you go with them. Redstone Keep is the nearest destination at the end of a long, winding canyon. But you could also follow them to other locations further away. The Zagros Mountains, the Great Desert, Umbra Cliffs, you name it. Any more questions? Okay, well, I don't, I don't really I don't really have that many more questions. I just want to get out there and start exploring and everything. But you can pause the video if you like and read this. Okay, the alliance of the clans fell apart and the clans began to compete with each other for the seas of the land. Many people fell into banditry to feed themselves in this war-torn land. Even more worrying is the appearance of monsters throughout the desert preying on travelers and even the armies of the clans. Uh, no, no, thank you. Thank you. No more questions. Okay, so inventory. Okay, hello there. I have a wooden wand. Well, that's probably not going to be very useful for me, is it? Okay, shabby clothes, and we have beans. Obviously, we do have hunger as well to deal with, and we also have a return scroll that's basically like a, I suppose, like a town portal from Diablo or something like that, potentially. And then we also have iron sword and linen robe for Zeynep, so we don't really have to worry about her too much. All right, make sure you equip your weapon. You don't want to be surprised by bandits. Hello there. You hear faint calls for help carried by the wind. The wind gets stronger and the sound becomes clearer. After a while, you finally get to see the owner of the voice. It is a middle-aged man dressed in ragged clothes carrying an old staff. He grasps a masked woman's hand and runs desperately. Chasing him is a group of humanoid monsters ensconced with flame. Help, save me. Before you can respond, humanoid creatures made of living fire rush towards you with cruel intent. Alright, so spacebar to roll, shift to hold current position and attack. Okay, very classic action RPG. I love that. That's really nice. I, I, if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of the Diablo series. And um, yeah, used to play a huge amount of Diablo 3 seasons and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is going to be uh, a lot of fun to... Oh, 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 okay. Nice, nice rain. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> that was um, that was a little bit uh, a little bit too easy, but uh, yes, I'm a, I'm a bit suspicious. Ah, phew! Thank you for your help. May I ask the name of my benefactor, Bruce? I look mean. I'm ready to stab you any time. Apparently, my name is Malak. I am a scholar. He points to the masked woman. She is Isra, an orphan I picked up in Twin Luna Valley. She was interested in my studies, so I took her with me. Uh, what do you study? Ah, uh, in an age of war, it seems like a useless profession. No, I'm studying the history of this land. Not the old empire or the Machina age, but something very obscure. He smiles wryly. As long as you're okay. These monsters appear after the black sun rose in the sky. They appear human, they even have human faces. Because their bodies are covered in flame, we call them Ifrit. Aha. Uh -huh. Why did they attack you? If you're lucky, you'll never encounter one. 
Ifrits are violent by nature. They especially like to attack humans, human mages in particular. This kind of weak Ifrit isn't even self-aware, but it's said more powerful Ifrit are smarter than a human, though I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you. Please accept this token of our gratitude. You really are a kind person. The area ahead is dangerous. I suggest you proceed with caution. Okay, Malak and Ezra express their gratitude, then they continue upon their journey. You discover that Ifrit deteriorate very quickly. Like burned charcoal, they fall apart bit by bit, until they are finally blown away in the wind. The Battle of the Black Sun has made this world unrecognizable, but people have never stopped fighting it. The appearance of such a monster is unlikely to change anyone's dreams of conquest. You brace your head against the wind and press forward. Now, I, I should really mention before we go any further here that the game features extremely large battles. Think um, think Dynasty Warriors big. Yeah, there's going to be uh, pr probably a, a, a couple of hundred units on screen at any one time. At least that's what I've seen from screenshots and so on. Anyway. Anyone headed to Redstone Valley? Sure. At the end of the valley, you see a caravan preparing to head out into the desert. They are willing to take you with them and give you a trade permit. Okay, so apparently this is recommended. I could go to other places if I had experience in the game, but I think Redstone Valley is probably a good place to start. Oh, hello there. There's a chest. Rage Elixir. Nice. There's a hesitant adventurer. What's he doing? I don't have enough Utah to hire troops, but I know that fighting alone is dangerous. I learned that a trainer was selling war animals. Who knew that they would be more expensive than people? Oh well, thank you. Uh, traveling merchant's tent. Oh, okay, so I can actually go here and uh, speak to him. My stand is simple, but my merchandise is anything but. Care to buy something unique? Well, I do have a little bit of, um, a little bit of money. I don't have pets for sale right now. I'll come back another time. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Okay, so let's reach level 5, shall we? So, what's over here? Aha! Interesting. Okay, so we can buy a mount. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have enough money to be able to do this, of course. So, I will not be able to do that just yet. But we will be able to explore the surrounding area. That is a large horse over there. I think it's a statue of some kind. What is this? Some prisoners are being held in this makeshift jail. Defeat the guards and the prisoners will join you. You must be discreet and thus can only use heroes. Exploration mode party of four. And you can't respawn after being defeated in exploration mode. Recommended level four. Okay, so it's a dungeon. That is actually amazing. <laughs> yeah, see now this is exactly the reason why I wanted to show you this game. Uh, I know actually um, someone uh, mentioned to me very recently um, I think earlier today that um, they thought that this game, Sands of Salzar, seemed like a really good game for me to play on the channel because it seems exactly the kind of game that I like. And in, indeed, I, it was already on my radar. Absolutely already on my radar. Okay, uh, what's this? A statue of a legendary hero. Approach the statue, remember the hero's exploits and learn from them. Okay, recommended level 3. It has a chance to drop all of this. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Okay. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. Okay, let's try it. Okay, hello there. Ah. Uh, okay, yeah. This, this, oh, this guy's gonna... This guy's gonna deal so much damage. Okay, yeah. This, this skill is now cooling down, of course. Okay, let me roll. Okay, wait a minute. You know, I'm I literally might just die here, to be honest. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, I got murdered. I got murdered. But um, I don't think I lost anything, actually. Uh, no, no, as far as I am aware, 
Uh, I did not lose anything whatsoever, and I am actually still fine with basically everyone. And how's my party doing? It seems like I'm okay. My HP is back up to full, I think. So it seems like I just didn't get any of the rewards for that particular uh, encounter, which is unfortunate. But we will be able to go back there. That's the point. You can do it again if you so desire. But obviously level does make a pretty big difference and I'm not going to be able to do that at level one. They did say, you know, they did say that it was, you know, level uh, level three that is required. Identical notices have been posted on the stone wall by the guard. Tear one off and look at it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. To the north, there is a mine. You will see it if you go to the end of the canyon. After the black sun, miners often saw ghostly fire down there. Miners frequently got injured or went missing. It was eventually abandoned. Okay, what do you need me to do? Go see for yourself if you think you can survive, says the guard. Okay, sure, I accepted the quest. Okay, I'm happy to do that. Okay, so Redstone Keep is just here. Mysterious bookseller. Um, I'm, I'm perfectly fine just to continue onward, to be honest. There's a, there are so many NPCs to speak to. And, and look, look, there's a party. Did you see that? That's a lord. That's basically a lord. It's like a, it's like a vassal from Mountain Blade. That's the guy that is going to be defending this area. Okay, cool. We're recruiting volunteers. Recently, a group of desert hippies came by blabbing about being followers of the fire god. They're converting people all over the place so they can perform a summoning ritual for their fire god. It's tricky. There happens to be a mountainous region in the south, and some claim to see molten lava beings down there. The local sultan has men garrisoned there to defend the town entrance. Our men can't get any closer to find out what exactly these folks are up to. If you could take three squads over, I could entrust you with this. Aha, uh -huh. okay, yeah, I don't have three squads at the moment, but hopefully I will be able to relatively soon. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go in here. So as you can see, you can now do a little bit of, well, things. You can besiege this if you so desire you can uh, recruit new people unfortunately i'm not the city's administrator as you can see right there you can also develop and construct buildings <laughs> yeah well we know where else we can do that but now this i, I personally I'm, I'm really loving this right now okay let's have a look at this okay uh, i want to hire some help okay let's have a look oh oh savage giant you need 900 iron stone uh, no, I, I, I don't have enough for that. I really don't. No, I, I certainly don't. Okay, but there you go. You can actually hire people from there. And you can see that on the map, on the uh, the little mini map here, the uh, light blue icons, like for example, there's the Sultan right there. As you can see, he's running around with a bunch of infantry and all kinds of craziness. So I'm actually very much looking forward to it. Aha, exploring the mine. Oh, it seems like I might might not be able to even do this. Mm, yeah, recommended level of three. I probably won't be able to do it, but we might be able to do this. No, that is also three. I'm looking for some... I'm looking for uh, some people that we might actually be able to defeat. Ah, here we go. Hello there. It is a member of the Desert Brotherhood. You haven't heard of the famous Desert Brotherhood? No, I haven't, actually. And over your valuables if you value your life. Okay, so let's fight. Oh, I could have observed the enemy, actually. That would have made more sense. Oh, wow. The, okay, yeah. The, the, this is kind of harsh. Yes, perfection. Ah, there we go. So now, 
I don't know whether you noticed, but basically what I was just trying to do there was trying to absorb as much of the damage as I possibly could and then getting Zainab to basically eliminate the units that were on her and then she could hopefully come over and help me out. And that's exactly what happened, which is great. Okay, so we gained a little bit of cash and we gained some experience and we're actually almost to the next level, which is really nice. So hopefully we'll be able to do more of that as we go forward. Okay, so um, we just need to find more of those guys. And Desert Tracker Scroll greatly increases movement and attack speed of allies within, ooh, within a large range that would be really nice to use actually i'm going to put that on too so that we can use that in battle a beautiful wooden statue we might be able to sell that for a decent amount of cash grants a temporary boost to your own and nearby allies crit rate can be used in battle as well that could be quite useful as well mm -hmm. okay well i'm pretty happy with uh, how things are going so far oh there's another enemy over there okay let's observe the enemy they have eight do they? Yes, they have eight. Okay, this oh, this might be uh, this might be somewhat problematic. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it, shall we? Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Um, technically, if we want to hand over our supplies, we just lose ten percent, which is actually not even that bad. But we're going to fight them, and we'll see how we do. Because I think we can do quite well. Gonna yeah, buff, buff. There we go. Boom. There we go. Okay, nice. Oh, look at my movement speed. Oh. My movement speed is crazy now, yes. All because of the scroll. That is really helping quite a great deal. Very nice. Okay, let's just try and kill as many of them as I can get my hands on. Try and uh, drain their life a little bit as well. And then we'll just run around a little bit and once again just kite them somewhat. And then hopefully that is going to result in Zeynep being able to get some kills. Unfortunately, she is having difficulties actually catching up, so I might have to do a bit of a tighter circle around here. As you can see, there we go. That's much better for her. And now maybe I can help her out a little bit with some range attacks. There we go. And that is indeed another victory. Nice level up. Okay, that's what we want. We want to level up as fast as we possibly can so that we can increase our skills because we want to pay the bills, of course. We want to pay the bills. Okay, so I would like to be able to get... Um, summon Shade, but I need to get Psychic Bullet before we can do that. Fires a Psychic Bullet in the target direction. This bullet cannot be evaded or blocked. Deals damage and reduces the target's movement speed by 50% for 5 seconds. The bullet generates an orb of dark energy upon hitting its target, which explodes and deals damage to all enemies within uh, 300 cubits. That's actually amazing, but I do have Barrage, which is also available. Fire three arrows, 3,000 cubits consecutively in the same direction. Cool down three seconds. I think I'm actually going to be using that instead. I mean, it might be a mistake for me to do my own skill build, but you can do that with those legacy abilities. You can decide whatever you want to do. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's see what else we can do here. What is this? Agility. Increase his own crit rate to 100% for 5 seconds after using sidestep slice. And what is this? This has an 8 second cooldown. Wow, so that's actually insane gonna use this that is an amazing combination that synergy between those two abilities is amazing okay so wait a minute is she going to uh, use all of those by herself is she is she going to do all of this i i think so i i, I it doesn't say whether she's going to do it or not i assume she's going to do it automatically okay so um, let's see now. Uh, we got mess messages? Oh, markets will open soon. Oh, so the, ah, uh, yes, the Desert Bazaar will open soon. Okay, good. And we have a, a chest there, Desert Tracker Scroll. Nothing really for us to worry about too much. And then we also have something else going on here too. An abandoned sawmill. You may be able to find wood here. Okay, so exploration mode regiment. Okay, so that means that you can basically have a huge amount of people in here. Recommended level is three. <laughs> Explored floors too. Yeah, probably not the best for us at the moment. What is this over here though? Ah, limestone flower. Nice. Then we have some more chests and all kinds of wonderful things. Oh yes, more desert tracker scrolls. Could definitely use more of those. Thank you. And aha! A bearded man with a large satchel and a shiny bald head addresses you. Did you come here to explore? I must warn you as your elder that there is a large volcano nearby where strange things are happening. Redstone Keeper sent guards to block the road. Your curiosity could kill you. Go wherever you like, but try not to die. Is there anything scary there? 
He touches what hair he has left and says, there is a, bottom, a big bottomless crater. He said a star fell into it on the day of the black sun. Seeing your calm expression, he speaks with a hint of anger. I'm not being cool reactionary. If you want, you can have a look. If you survive, come back to me and I'll give you something good. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll go and look I, if, I, if I can. And oh, here we go. There's another one. Yeah, I think that, uh, that scroll really gave me a... Uh, a fantastic um, a fantastic bonus in that fight to be honest okay so we have a number of people running up oh, bandits let's take them on oh wow yeah th this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be somewhat problematic okay let me run away a little bit and oh look at that nice oh yeah yeah there we go oh that was that was pretty cool that was pretty cool look at that we're doing a lot of damage okay let's do some damage with this Nice, okay. Doesn't do as much damage as I anticipated, I gotta say that. Doesn't do as much damage as I thought, which is somewhat sad, but it is a very long-range ability, so I suppose it is going to help us to attack from f uh, far distance and we don't have to worry too much about it. Okay, hello there. Okay, observe the enemy, what do you have? You got eight. Okay, should be absolutely fine. I am using these scrolls like candy, however, which is a little bit problematic because in... Uh, in uh, sticky situations, we might have some problems, but I think we should be okay. And we're good. Look at that. I feel like Zeynep is actually more uh, more powerful than I am right now. I think that she is, uh, with that with that build, the, uh, the skill build that she has, she can literally just do amazing stuff. Anyway, the Desert Brotherhood has reassessed your strength. They can't take you on with a group this size. Oh, they're gonna be a little bit smarter now. Okay, that's interesting. So that means they're probably going to run away from me instead of um, engaging me anytime they see me from now on, I assume. Something along those lines, potentially. Okay, good to know. Hello there. Do you want to attack? Oh, they actually... It's really Bruce! Bad luck today! Brothers, run! Okay, so we can actually pursue them or let them go. Okay, so basically it's exactly the same thing. However, it is going to change how we do things. Okay, so let's pursue them. Oh, interesting. This is actually very interesting. Okay, so... Let's, uh, let's just do some more damage then. I mean, Zeynep is going to do so much damage, really is. Okay, let's just continue doing damage. We can do AoE damage as well. I should really take that AoE bolt thing. I think I feel like that really is going to help us to do a lot more damage. Let's do a little bit of... Uh, I feel like this leeching strike thing is super powerful as well. There we go. Nice. And done. Oh yeah, they are like, they're, they're literally like candy to us now. We can literally take them on, no problem at all. Okay, that is great. And look at that. They're, okay, so their friendliness has also dropped. Yeah, bear in mind that there are uh, relationships uh, that you can foster in this game as well. So the various factions are obviously going to lose relation with you, gain relation with you, dependent on whether you help them or not, and so on. What's this? Limestone flower. What's this over here? You're here for one reason, the treasure chest in front of you. But as you move closer to it, doubts surface in your mind. Can it really be this easy? You keep questioning yourself. Danger level 15. <laughs> no. You suppress your greed and leave for now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely leaving that thing until a little bit later on. Thank you very much. But yeah, as you see, it also has a little bit of a Metroidvania um, essence to it. So in other words, you're going to have situations where you can come back for a certain item which I think is very cool too what a beast you see Zeynep she's doing so much damage yeah, it's because of that skill build. Like, literally, she if she just uses the sidestep thing, 
Um, every eight seconds, she will gain a buff that gives her crit rate a hundred percent increase for five seconds. So theoretically, she only has um, lowered crit rate for three seconds out of that time, which is just amazing. That is so cool. That is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm finally going to take Psychic Bullet now. And uh, I probably should have taken it beforehand, to be honest. I mean, I, I, I should really just, you know, uh, go with what, um, you know, the beginner class basically says to do, in my opinion. You know, it doesn't seem to really make much sense for me to do my own thing at this point. But anyway, let's, um, let's increase her agility a little bit, I suppose. Ooh, she actually gets Vampire Slash. Look at that. You recover 10% of all damage dealt in health. That's really cool. I should probably have done Strength as well. Actually, I'm not sure what Agility does. That's the uh, the main thing here. What, what does it actually do? Difference in Agility affects chance to dodge and perform critical <laughs> And perform critical hits. Okay, yeah, that's definitely going to be super important then for her. And we also have another little teleporter area here as well. So if we want to, we can teleport to a different zone. And then we have a caravan that has been overturned here too. Uh, there's a chest over in this direction. Oh, what's this? Ah, one prestige shard. Okay, thank you. And what is going on here? Former alchemy workshop. An abandoned alchemy workshop. You might be able to salvage something useful here. Okay, let's go inside because we are now level three. It seems like there aren't any enemies here. You did not find anything in the ruins. You accidentally awaken the workshop's guardian puppets. Okay, let's do it. This might be problematic. I'm going to use the desert tracker scroll. I'm going to use it. There we go. Let's use uh, the bullet thing. It's going to do... Uh, wow, it actually does some pretty decent damage. Is Zainab dead? <gasps> no! She's actually dead? Oh dear, this is bad. This is bad news bears for me. Okay, yeah, th this is actually very bad. Okay, I, I guess what I can do is just continue to do this, pretty much. I mean, it does some good damage, but it is going to take me a little bit of time to uh, get through all of their HP. All right, so eventually I have been able to wear down all of these puppets. I think they have... Uh, an insane amount of HP. I actually have no idea how much. I haven't counted the hits that I've been able to do here, but I'm hitting them uh, every couple of seconds for about 120 damage. And they also regenerate health, by the way. Oh yes, they also regenerate health. However, my uh, psychic bullet attack has been very, very helpful because that has enabled me to slow enemies and also hit for about 250, as well as an AoE that follows up for about 150. So that is pretty good. As you can see right here, it hits for 250 and then a 150 after that in an AoE. Now, I didn't know this, but my basic attack also takes mana. So obviously I've had to be a bit careful with mana and there you have it. Whew. Okay, that is indeed a victory for us. Now, I actually realized, by the way, that this particular encounter, I realized it while I was fighting these things for whatever amount of time I took, 15 minutes or something like that. But I realized that at the, uh, I don't know, 10 minute mark or something, that this encounter is probably for an actual regiment. That's why it says, hey, you should probably do this when... Uh, <laughs> When you have a regiment, when you have like, you know, squads and squads and squads, you defeat the puppet, pu pu puppets, no, you defeat the puppets and find some supplies. There we go. All right. Suddenly you hear someone calling you. The weariness in the person's voice sounds familiar. You don't remember me? My benefactor, it's me, Malak, the Malak who saved from the Ifrit. You haven't forgotten this troubled scholar. He puts away his old tomes and turns to take your hand. My benefactor, I finally found you. Need something. I'm in desperate need of your help. You must know how powerful the Ifrit are. They have recently begun to attack humans in groups. If the rumors are true, the most powerful Ifrit are nearly indistinguishable from humans, except for some superficial differences. They have their own, their own language, intelligence, and powerful magic. They evolve and adapt quickly too. If this continues, humans will be unable to defeat them. Ah, so we must go on a quest. I found a secret base for the Ifrit. They seem to be planning some shameful conspiracy. 
The Pahoho Lava Void to the south of Redstone Keep is where I shall wait for you. Only you can prevent disaster, hero. Okay, to the south of Redstone Keep. Malak seems so earnest, there is no use refusing. He staggers awkwardly forward, his belongings slapping against his body with every step. He looks back at you one more time, his eyes heavy with fatigue and sadness. The Ifrit base spoken of by Malak rests within the lava void. When you are ready, seek Malak there. All right. So there we go. Um, uh, so, oh, okay. Oh, there's, there's another thing. Okay. Suddenly a hurried man thunders past you. He elbows you as he passes, but he doesn't seem to notice. Instead, he continues to rush towards Crying Rock. After a time... Another young man walks in the same direction. He stops when he meets your gaze. Sorry, that's my older brother. We're going to join the Dakin's great, great conclave, even. We don't have a lot of time, sorry. Yes, that's why I misspoke, because I was in a hurry. Okay, what's a, what's a great conclave? The great conclave is held near the settlement east of Triptych's Rock. The Dakin leader, the beautiful Rebia, uh, organizes it. The winner gets a treasure from the days of old Jamal City. Sounds priceless. When does it start? It starts in one day and lasts for 30 days. Time is running out, so you'd better hurry if you want to join. I heard the great Rabia values intelligence as much as strength. Before the fighting starts, she will test your intelligence. Stupid contestants may be disqualified, whereas intelligent candidates may receive aid from Rabia. Okay, I can't say too much. I must go. Okay. Wow. A huge amount of stuff to be done there. And... It's been zero days. You, you have to wait 14 days before trying again. Aha! So you can actually do explorations multiple times. Look at this an insanely large party running along here. I can actually wonder whether they're going to be doing a battle or whether they're actually on the way to do a battle or something like that. I would like to see whether that is indeed the case. They might very well just literally be patrolling around. I think they are probably just patrolling. Oh, they're going into the next zone. Should I follow them? I think I shall. Let me let me follow them and see where they're going. I think this could be quite interesting. Four rotten supplies were discarded. Ah, oh, good to know, good to know. Okay, I do have some talents as well, by the way. I'm actually a bit worried about coming into this new zone without really knowing what is going on. Wait a minute. Hello there. Oh, okay, hello. That might be a... Oh, yeah, that's way too... Uh, oh, dear. I think we might be in a bit of a spot of bother here. Anyway, as you can see, this is the talent tree. Mm. It's massive, as you can no doubt tell. Massive amounts of different stuff that you can indeed spec into. And I'm actually wondering what we want to do. Squad capacity, party, serious, injury rate minus 1%, increase items of sword, favor gained with characters plus 10, favor gained with factions and outposts, and march speed. March speed, yes, I will take that. Thank you very much. I want to be able to move faster on the world map. Thank you. Okay, there's a herbalist here with indeed a quest. Um, I'd like to move back here and actually get out of this area because I think we are way too low level for this personally. I think we are way too low level so I'm just going to get out of here for the moment and uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, let's have a look. Uh, East Outpost, join the contest. Okay, sure. I, I guess I'll, I'll try to do that. Where Where is it though? East Outpost? It's probably a little bit further away from here than this. Uh, it's probably up, isn't it? It's probably up and to the right. Can I actually get the map? Ah, there we go. There's the east outpost. So can I, oh, I can actually move there. Oh, my guy is just going to move there automatically. Oh, super cool. Okay, so that's really nice. That's a nice quality of life improvement as well. Bear in mind, this game's still just in early access. Crazy. Crazy the amounts of the features a game has, even though it's still in development. And you, you basically think to yourself, oh, I'd really like this, but it's already there. Crazy, huh? Okay, so let me see. Uh-huh. Okay, this is the East Outpost. I'm not entirely sure. Wait a minute, is it over here? No. Do I need to speak to this guy? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, uh, Village Elder? Is anyone here willing to follow Bruce? If you can meet our recruitment fee, we have some uh, Nesia farmers willing to follow your cause. Recruit more powerful forces as you amass tribute. In other words, renown, I suppose. Would you like to recruit forces? I wouldn't, actually, at the moment. 
Ah, wait a minute. Is there something else that I can do here? No, it doesn't seem like it. I could just... I, I can visit people. I, I don't actually know how to do the tournament. It could be that I missed the meeting. Um, and that's the reason. You're running out of food. Replenish your supplies as fast as possible. I will try to do so. I will try to do so. But I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more, then by all means, let me know. Otherwise, you can check out the game through the link in the description. Um, I think it's 40% off right now, so pretty good time to pick it up if you're at all interested. But otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.